d o g m a n Dave p i l k e y d o g m a n d o g m a n behind the scenes. One time, George met Harold in kindergarten. Nice to meet you. Me too. They became best friends and started making comics. Their very first comic was an epic novella called "The Adventures of Dogman." Over the years, they made tons of Dogman comic books. Then one day in the fourth grade, they started making a new comic, Captain Wonderpants. Soon their lives got really complicated. There was danger, horror, and ridiculously convoluted pilot lines. And just when it seemed like things couldn't get any worse, things got better. Hey. All the drama had come to an end, but there were still lots of unanswered questions. Where are our doubles? Where's Tony, Orlando, and Dawn? George and Harold searched their tree house for clues, but soon they got distracted. Hey, look! Oh, cool! It's a box full of old Dogman comics we made when we were kids. Hey, I forgot all about this. They read for hours. Ha ha ha! I cracked me up. Look how you used to draw, old school, and look how bad you used to spell. Well, what should we do now? Let's make a new comic book about Captain Underpants. Nah. Let's do something different. How about a Dogman comic? And together, the two friends wrote and drew and laughed all afternoon. George tried to spell more better. Harold tried to draw some simpler. And thus, Dogman was reborn. And I wish, class, enjoy it. Dogman Chapter One: A Hero Is Unleashed by George and Harold. Do- Dogman by George and Harold. Beep beep. Oh boy. My new couch is here. She's a real beauty, Chief. I know. We put it in our office. I can't wait. Thanks, fella. I can't wait to be the first. To sit on it, calling all cops. Come to my office. You can catch me break my brand new couch. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Chief's office. Hey, officer Knight and Greg the dog. You got dirty shoes and dog hair everywhere. You are the worst cops ever. Get out of my sight. Our man chief is really mad at us again. I wish we could do something heroic to impress him. Oh oh! That cop and that police dog are back. Who cares? Aren't you worried about those two? Heck no! Check this out. Officer Knight is tough cop, but. He ain't got brains. And Craig, the dog, is smart, but his body is his weakness. Yeah, but what if they work together? Hmm, that might be a problem. Fortunately, I've got a solution. D. Help! It's a bomb. Officer Knight and Greg Man. Ran to defuse the bomb. Hmm. Which wire should I cut? Red or green? Or green? It is.
and soul snippet. Kabloot. Oh no, I forgot dogs on colored blind. We do, we do. And soon. How do we feel? How do you feel, old friend? Ruff. Me too. Ruff. Soon, the doctor came in with some super sad news. Boo hoo hoo. I'm sorry, Craig, but your body is dying. And your head is dying too, Cobb. Rats, I'm sure, hate my dying head. But just when all seems lost, hey, nurse lady, why don't we sew Greg's head onto Cobb's body? Good idea, nurse lady, you are a genius. Hooray! So they had a big operation. The doctor cut off Craig's egg head and sewed it onto Cobb's body. What a lucky day! And soon, a brand new crime-fighting sensation was unleashed. Hooray for Dogman! The news spread quickly. Rats! I unwrittingly created the greatest cop of ever. Fortunately, I knew just how to stop him. The next day, well, well, well. So you are the world's most greatest cop, huh? Well, you better. Watch your step around here, Bob. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Get out of here! Poor dog man had started out badly, but things were about to get worse. Ho ho ho! What's so funny? Today. I'm going to destroy Dogman once and for all. How? Tell me, what are the dogs afraid of?、Mm, firecrackers. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. But dogs are also afraid of vacuum cleaners. I built this baby last night. Gee, I think firecrackers would have been easier. Who asked you? Mm, you did, slap. This was thousands of dollars of the latest technology. Firecrackers only cost five bucks. Enough with the firecrackers! It's way cooler. And once I turned it on, it will chase Dogman. And it won't stop. Until he gets sucked up, ho ho ho! Il ho zoom, oh dog man! Let's get ready to rumba. Go on and run. You haven't got a chance. This vacuum has six. Thousand HP motor, an endless power supply, and the bag expands so it can suck up almost anything. When Dogman heard the word "almost," he got a good idea. Go, dude! That giant vacuum cleaner just swallowed my surfboard. Bummer, dude! Splash. The vacuum followed the dog man into the sea. Hey, let's get out of this water, okay? I can't swim. Besides, this vacuum cleaner isn't supposed to get wet. No fair. So the vacuum started sucking up the sea. Dog man dived down. The big vacuum bag got fuller and fuller and fuller. Meanwhile, under the water, Dogman was losing the battle. Gulp! The vacuum cleaner had won the war. Or had he? I got to get out of here before it bag of the sea water busts. Busts! Well, boing boing, Pity grappled with his claws. Suddenly, the vacuum bag began to trip, began to rip. <laughs> 